Welcome back. I'm going to do something today that I haven't done for oh, months and months. You know how I used to do the um, Shelley Art blooms and I used to do the swipes as well. Um, I'm going to do a, a Shelley Art bloom swipe today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pillow paint down which is this one. It's a bit hard to see because I've I, um, it's got paint all over it, but I got this plastic lid that I put on. See, it's good for pouring, you see. It's the British Paints um, White. It's just an interior wall paint, and I've given it a good shooken up. So I'm going to pour that down the center. Um, and then I'm going to use black, paints gray, and silver. And I'm going to swipe with the white. So we'll start with the white. The white is the cell activator. And that is two parts Floetrol, two one part Amsterdam Titanium White. Don't get the zinc white, it's not um, opaque. Get the Titanium White, okay? So that's the cell activator. My colours are, as I said, Josonia's Paints Grey, Black and Silver. And I've mixed those two parts Pouring Medium to one part Josonia's. My pouring medium for this is three parts untinted wall paint, so there's no colour in it. One part Joe Sonia's gloss varnish and one part polycrylic. I get the polycrylic from Amazon. If you can't get it, don't worry, just do two parts of the gloss varnish, okay? And then two to one of that with um, your paint. So that's it. Let's get going. All right. Now, I haven't done this for, as I said, months and months and months. And I probably can't even remember how to do it. So, <laughs> bear with me. All right, I'm going to pour some of this out. Like so. Now, we need a nice thick pillow for our paints to move around on. Get to the edges there. I think that's about right. Spread it out a little bit so it's even. I like finger painting. So there we go. Nice thick amount um, of the white sitting on there. And then what we do is, and I hope it's not too thick. So move it around a little bit, make sure it's all flowing at the same rate. I think it is. Okay, so then we're to do, I'm just going to make stripes with my colours. Now, I don't know if you can see, it's it's pretty thick, like it's thicker than what I would use for my flip cup pours. Those of you that follow me with my flip cup pours, it certainly does a mound on a mound. All right, let's see. I've only just made these up, so we shall see how we go. And again, I can't remember how much to put on because it's been so long. I'm going to put some silver on next. I kind of do squiggles and things. So that you just have different colours. When you swipe, you have different colours sort of coming through rather than the same colour. And let's go with a little bit of black again. Like so. All right, hopefully that's enough. I've still got some paint left, so um, I can always do another one if this doesn't work, but let's cross fingers that it works. Let me get my big can of paint out of the way. All right, so now what I'm going to do, and you may have seen me um, before, like what I do is I put some paint on the card and then I put my swipe in my tool into that and then I swipe. So this is the, as I said, the two to one. It might even be a little bit thicker. It might even be like a one and a half to one. I did 40 grams of Floetrol and 30 grams of the titanium white. So that's probably a little bit thicker than that. Um, just because I want to keep my cells in shape. All right, so there we go. Put that there. I'm going to dip that in. God, wish me luck, you guys. Oh, look, I've got, how did I do that? Oh, because I put it in there. Oh, my gosh. Starting out wrong already. 
All right, here we go. Put that in there, try and keep some of it on. And I'm just gonna take half, push down, because I want the colors to blend, and then over the edge. Take that around, now wipe it off. Oh, look, we've got lacing, we've got lacing. Dip some more in, try and get a decent amount. Keep it on there, keep it upside down until you have to use it. Push down. I'm giving it a bit of pressure because I want the white to get pushed down into the colors to blend. I'm gonna put a little bit more on, like so. Because of the shape of this, I found a, a container with high sides, it was going in on an angle. I couldn't get right down, so the card works. Works fine. And then once I've done this, I'll do some tilting to stretch the cells out. I've got a little bit of a gap in between there. Let me see if I can maybe not get that. If I overlap a little bit more, not so I don't get that. Mm. Wherever your tool joins, like you're going to get a mark where the where the two um, swipes meet up. So there's not much you can do about that. But it's all going to change once we start swiping. Oops, my cup's in the way. Get out of the way. I'll knock you over. So I'm kind of pushing on an angle. Like my, my tool isn't straight. It's a bit of an angle like that. So I'm pushing the paint away from myself. If you can understand that, like it's not, I'm pushing it on an angle. Otherwise I'd just be skimming over the top, but I want to actually push the paint. Let me see if I can get that little bit there. And that little bit there that I've missed. Just using the end of the little swiping tool. All right, so that's half done. Let's turn it around. I find that I can't do this towards myself. I've got to do it away from myself. And actually, I'm still taping. I did a swipe the other day, and I was talking to you and chatting away, and got to the end, and I thought, oh, it didn't work. I don't know what happened. It did not work. My, uh, my memory could have been a little bit full. It tends to do that if the memory is getting a bit full. Right, here we go. Let's do the other half. So the thicker that your CA is, your cell activator, the better your lacing is going to be. Oops, I don't seem to have as much paint on that side. <laughs> yeah, so if your CA is very thin, it's just going to drop down to the back and you probably won't see very much of it. Whereas if you have, keep it nice and thick, um, you'll be able to see your lacing a lot more. Because the white will stay on top and it'll stay nice and thick. Your lacing will stay in shape. Um, if your CA is too thin, your lacing tends to just break. So I like to have it nice and thick. There we go. Look at that. I've got my paper towel here that I'm just wiping my tool on. I thought I'd better revisit this. It's been so long since I've done one, hey. Techniques seem to come and go. They're all the rage and then six months later, you know, they, they die off and then they come back again. <laughs> I guess because new artists come in and they want to try things and so they start doing them and then it all starts up again. And then it dies off <laughs> and then it comes back again. <laughs> all right, nearly done. Here we go, last one. Was a lot of white on that one. Mm, that might have been a bit much. Let's see if I can get some of that white to thin out a bit. Okay. Well, that um, the Payne's Grey's certainly taken over there. I wasn't expecting it to be that blue. I've got a little bit of area there that I haven't got much colour on. I'm going to see if I can just go again mm, it's always a 
tricky doing this because then you can you might ruin what you've already done. You've just got to be careful. All right, I think that'll do. It doesn't matter if I get a little bit of extra white here and there. Let me just where am I going to put these? Move them over there, out of the way. Fold that up. I don't think I need that anymore. Get rid of that. Right now, the tilting, and this is where we stretch out those cells. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the top first and then turn around and do the bottom. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got big push pins underneath. I'm going to go off to this corner first. It is a little bit tricky. I find it a little bit tricky just to um, to tilt because you've got to you've got to go a long way to get to your corner. You need to do it. You need to cover everything. You've got to go over your corner. And I'm going to take it, the weight straight back to the other side. And get over that corner, I think. And then I'll bring the weight of the paint back down. And where will we go? Yep, go over there. Now all kind of... Mm, so this is where I get in trouble. I think, oh, now I've got to straighten it. Doesn't matter. We'll have a bit of a curve. It doesn't have to be straight up and down. It certainly doesn't. Just, just cover everything. I'm holding underneath. And I'm going to go, because the weight of the paint's down here, down here, where I'm wriggling my thumb. The weight of the paint's already down that side. So, go over that one. Oh, my God. Gosh, that scared me. I've got my radio turned down. Like I have my music on when I'm prepping. And then oh, I've got it turned right down. And all of a sudden it just went, came on all by itself. The volume turned up. How did it do that? Jeez. Jeez Louise. Don't scare me first thing in the morning. All right, over the side. All right, now, what are we going to do now? have a little look at it. So the lacing in the middle here is quite scrunched up I feel because I probably didn't tilt it properly like I did one side and then the other maybe I should have done uh, I don't know like I said I'm totally out of practice I'm gonna see if I can open this up a little bit I'm gonna go down and then to the side just to see if I can open up that bottom bit of lacing down there if I can I don't know if I can or not but I'll try I just feel as if it's a little bit too scrunched see look look at this this has opened up beautifully hasn't it all right let's go a little bit more let's just go for it and there goes my black off the corner I'm gonna turn it around yeah, I'm so out of practice with, with these. I'll just bring the weight of it back to the, the middle and see if I can maybe move it down a bit. And we'll get some organic kind of curves happening. I think I'll leave it like that because it's... It's not really opening up over here anymore. It's just, it's squished. Um, I may not have had enough white for my background. That could have been the problem. But, um, oh, it's looking really pretty. I love it. Love this here. Look at that. Look at the white lacing. It's really pretty. All of that, except for this little bit here that kind of got a bit scratched, but overall it's really pretty what do you think let me clean do my little corners make sure i've got paint over my edges like so yep you're covered you're not let's put a little bit of paint on you cover you over what do you think <gasps> look at me i'm a mess all right let me get these gloves off i'll take you down for a close-up. Put those in the bin. Yeah, I think I needed a bit more paint. Pillow paint. Let's go down and have a little look. 
Still really pretty though. Um, if you don't have enough pillow paint, the um, top layer with the cells can't move as easily and they tend to tend to stretch out a little bit more. Actually, you know what, this area here, where I was telling it was all scrunched up, that may have been the area that I've swiped a couple of times and thinned the paint out because I did that as well and you know I thinned it out so obviously there wasn't as much there to stretch. So that could have been it could have been this area here that I've swiped twice. I don't remember now. But um wow look at that. Look at the lacing, isn't it so pretty? And see how I've got all my colours like kind of blended? It's because I did those sort of zigzaggy zaggy lines. Haven't just got one one colour in one area. And you don't get that sort of definite line down the center either if you do it this way. I mean, you, don't, you couldn't really say it's a center swipe, could you? Because they're all kind of blended in together, which is very nice. What do you think? Let me know what you think. I wouldn't mind doing one in greens, actually. Yeah, a bit out of practice. Definitely go again. I think I'll put more white on on the base so we can slide around a little bit more and try only to swipe once not twice because I'm just thinning my paint out too much when I swipe twice but there we go hope you enjoyed that have a little go they're they're a lot of fun these and um, yeah the, I think they're quite easy you don't have to worry about putting in um, silicone oil for cells and things like that you just it just does it on its own all right I'll leave it at that go and get cleaned up and I might do another one while I've got everything out all right See you soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye for now.